Hey Lash Lovers, welcome to our Divine Lashes V-Vlog. So you're getting your lashes done and have you ever wondered what happens during your appointment? Well, in today's video, I'm going to take you through a full classic refill appointment from start to finish. So this classic refill was one hour long, but for the sake of this video, I quickened it so we can go through the process a bit faster. So let's get started. You start by separating your lower lashes from your upper eyelashes by applying under eye patches and tape. This is a simple but necessary step in order to apply eyelash extensions. I'm placing the under eye patches that cover around 50% of our natural lashes, and with the tape, I cover the rest. The tape should be placed right at the border of your waterline. I always complete this step one eye at a time, so I would tape down one eye completely, then move on to the other. As a client, you should never feel the under eye patches or tape in your eye. If you do, make sure to let your eyelash artist know so she can adjust it for you right away. After both eyes are taped down, I have the client close her eyes completely and I readjust the outer corners. This is going to help relax the skin and lashes on the outer corners of her eyes. Even before I start gluing the extension is a preparation. This includes cleansing the lashes, rinsing the lashes, then drying the lashes. For the sake of this video, I only show this process on one eye, but I do this on both. Clean lashes promotes healthy lashes and great retention. Here I use thin slices of tape to lift the eyelids to expose the base of the eyelashes for better visibility. The second thing that I do before I start the application is check and count the existing extensions. I'm removing any extensions that are overgrown and extensions where the bond has become brittle. This client actually had an accident with her lashes while opening an oven to grab her roast chicken. Many of the tips of her extensions were singed, so I had to remove quite a few of them. I do this carefully with my tweezers. I hold the natural lash with one tweezer and the extension with the other and gently peel them apart. So if you wear extensions, please be careful around high intense heat. It will melt your extensions. Here I'm going back with a small lint free applicator, moistened with a little bit of primer to remove some of the stubborn makeup. I want to make sure that the natural lashes are squeaky clean before I start my application. Finally, we're ready to apply some fresh extensions. I start by dispensing my adhesive on my tile. I used a clear adhesive for this application. Here's the process. We isolate the natural lash, pick up the extension, dip into the adhesive, and apply onto the natural lash. When I do a refill, I take a look at the overall retention and balance and symmetry of the eye. If one eye has less extension than the other, for instance, if one eye has 35 extensions left and the other eye has only 30, I would add five more to the other eye to make it equal. I always work on both eyes simultaneously. This is to help prevent any extensions from sticking together during the application process and to maintain the symmetry. The extensions are placed on the natural lash with very small distance from the client's skin. They should be never touching the skin. Eyelash extensions should be applied to your natural lashes one to one. This will ensure that your natural lashes can grow through the growth cycle without any interference. You may have also noticed that the extensions being applied are only slightly longer and slightly thicker compared to her natural lashes. This will also ensure the health of the client's natural lashes. This client has been doing her eyelashes for nearly eight years continuously without taking a break. Her only break was during the COVID lockdown. And her eyelashes remain healthy and full all these years. I'll show you a couple more and we can speed up the process to the end.
You can see her lash line has become darker compared to the beginning of the appointment. Near the end of the appointment, I check my work one extension at a time to make sure that there is only one extension applied to one natural lash. If I find anything stuck together, this is a time where I would separate them. While I check my work, I'm also counting the extensions so that I can keep track of the retention. Ideally, clients should come back with around 50% of their extensions after 3 weeks. After I completed my checking, I damp my lint-free brush with a bit of saline and wiped the base of the extensions. This is to help accelerate the curing or drying process. I found this helps a lot for those clients who are very sensitive to the fumes produced by the adhesive. I brush out the eyelashes one last time while using an air blower. I also double check that nothing is attached to the under eye patches and tape. Then I peel off everything carefully and the appointment is complete. Just keep in mind that every artist has their own process and method, so your experience may be a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and gave you an idea of what to expect during your classic refill appointment. Please share with me your experience getting your lashes done, or if you simply have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, bye!